And welcome back to the third hour of today. John and Terry Rexroad put their retirement savings on the line to help make masks for people who really needed them. Yes, in some places like San Francisco, masks are now mandatory, but not everyone has access to reusable ones. So John and Terry retooled their Connecticut manufacturing business to make masks for citizens. And they're joining us this morning. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, John, let me start with you. I know you decided to turn part of your safety netting business uh, that you turned or you started over 25 years ago, uh, Pakuda Leading Edge, into a mask making enterprise. And to do that, you risked a lot. Why did you decide to make the shift to produce masks? Well, it was important to bring my employees back to work and to make a supply of masks available to the general public. So retooling the factory and adding people and getting people back to work and masked out was important. And John, I I understand this is pretty personal for you. You have already been a mask wearer with your experience of your wife's health. So you tend to wear a mask typically during flu season as it is. Tell us about that. Well, during flu season and whenever I'm sick, I wear a mask around my wife. Um, It's the same thing that the public's doing right now is they're wearing a mask to protect um, the people around them. And uh, it's a necessary part of doing it. After her kidney transplant, she's taking immune suppression medications like a lot of people are at risk. Hmm. So, so Terry, what did you think when John started bringing home cotton fabric to test and he said he was going to start making masks? (laughs) Well, sort of, here we go again. Okay, let's go. (laughs) Um, it, it, It was just something that needed to happen. I mean, it wasn't, uh, it just needed to happen. People were begging for masks and everybody was worried. And um, so hopefully it filled a need and will continue to do so. And and John, you helped fill that need by keeping the cost low, making the masks affordable and promising to donate a mask for everyone that was purchased. Why was that important to you guys? Well, it's critical to be able to make a mask affordable. All of the families out there that are struggling with being out of work and putting food on the table, um, we have many people out there that are in need of masks. The donation of masks go beyond just giving them to um, institutions or you know organizations that supply them. If I get a call from somebody and, and they indicate to me that they're having financial or difficulties of their own, I, I supply them a free mask as a gift. Finally, John, at the height of of your production, I want people at home to know you have 30 employees and you guys are making about 30,000 masks a week. I'm sure I know you said demand has gone down um, a little bit, but if there's a second wave, would you ramp things back up again? Well, we're prepared to keep running 30,000 masks a a week and we'll continue to ramp that up. It's scalable manufacturing so that it's possible to um, be able to produce 60,000 or 100,000 if there's another way. So we're prepared and we're ready to continue on. I have to tell you guys, from a kidney transplant to now doing this and helping so many people in your community, you're an awesome couple. We know that. John and and Terry, thank you so much for joining us this morning. All the best. 